Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for joining me again today. My name is General Confusion, and this is Hollow Knight. Now, I know this certainly isn't my most popular playthrough. Not a whole lot of people are following it, but I think this game is really neat, so I'm just going to keep playing it. And we are in a place that I don't think I've ever been before. Yeah, I'm underneath the map right now. And there was this sign pointing to what seems to be a cavalcade of ghosts. So let's see what that's all about, eh? Ah, there's an elevator. An elevator that I can't get into. Nope, that's definitely a wall. Okay. I can break that. Hmm. There's a lever inside. Does, uh... Yeah. Okay, well, I'll come back to this, I guess. Um... There are some other places I can try to go. Still sort of wandering around in this area. Not sure how to progress exactly, but we are finding lots of neat things. So I'm gonna head over to the right here, where, if I'm not mistaken, there was something interesting to look at. Besides zombies, that is. Zombies are everywhere. And there's a, a soul shrine thing, but I don't need it just now. I can regenerate what I need of soul just by hitting things. I enjoy the fact that this game lets you just wander through swiping your sword. Okay, so yeah, there's this guy. He seems to be asleep. But I can hit him. Gruz, or her. It's Gruz the mother, so... Her, presumably. It's like a giant version... Oh, crap. It's like a giant version of those... Flies. Uh... Ouch. Okay. Let's regenerate some. Let's regenerate some more. Not sure if I'm going to entirely survive this. Oop. Yep, that's a little hard to dodge. Got him! And here I was all worried. Okay. Okay, there seems to be something in the body. Ah! Well, that explains the whole mother thing. That was a little disgusting, though. Let's get these guys out of the way, and then we'll progress beyond the gate. Hopefully. Yeah! Sweet! Uncharted territory. I think. Or, well, it's technically charted, but we haven't really done anything here. Who's laughing? I can't get up there. Huh. Somebody's having the time of their lives, though. Hey, you. Buddy. Back off. Let's go in here. Hello? Oh, Tyog! Or are you oaf? You wield your nail like a club. Esme, how much deeper do we have to go? Oh. Oh? Papa. What? Who are you? I see. This old village. What a strange dream to have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever woken. I'm sly. Usually I live an uneventful life up in Dirtmouth. The air in these ruins doesn't agree with me, so I'd best be getting back. If you return above, come and see me. I'm probably the friendliest face left there, and I can thank you properly for your good deed. Okay. You're exploring then? Very brave. Plenty of courageous wanderers have been lost to the hunger of these old caverns. You have your nail, though, and I can tell just by looking that you know how to wield it. Okay, cool. Bye. Okay, so we found somebody else who presumably will inhabit Dirt Mouth the next time we go back up there. What's this? Okay, so now we've created a hole... Yeah, which leads back up to area that we've been before, I think. Yeah. Ah, oh, I just like this game. It's just kind of peaceful, relaxing almost while still being interesting enough as a game to, well, hold my interest. 
I'm sure collecting a lot of money. Yeah, I definitely can't get over there. Okay. Well, let's head back up. See if Sly has joined the party up in Dirtmouth. Yeah, so this is before I went in and killed the mother. Um, okay. So yeah, so we have this little, like, oh, I'm, I missed. I'm a failure. Oh, come on. There we go. That's better. So yeah, we have this, like, train station thing over here. That, uh... That, uh, train station thing, as I was saying, that we can't actually do anything in. Despite having this crest that has, like, a tab that can fit a slot, but... I can't... I can't put it in the slot. So I'm gonna go back up to Dirtmouth and talk to somebody there. Maybe we'll be able to learn something cool. Go away. Oh, I missed. Ouch. Stupid buggies. How much further up do I have to go? There. Oh, that didn't kill it either. You know what? Screw you. I'm leaving. Screw you. There we go. So yeah, that definitely seems like the way to the next area, but I can't get through to everything that's there yet. Go away. Nobody likes you. Um... Yeah. So I'm just going to... Yeah, head back up to Dirtmouth. Uh, and I'll see you when I get there. And welcome back to Shady Dirtmouth. So that is... that's the shop, isn't it? That's the train station, I think. Ah. This must be What's-His-Face's house. I've already forgotten his name. My memory is terrible. Yeah, here he is. Hey, how do you like my cozy little store? I've made myself pretty comfortable here, selling old trinkets to travelers like yourself. If you're planning a trip below, I have several items that may improve your chance of survival. Okay, a mask shard, a vessel fragment, a simple key which will fit a variety of locks, a gathering swarm, so Geo will... it's a magnet, basically, a stalwart shell, so more time to recover after taking damage, a lunafly lantern, and a rancid egg. That's weird, but probably valuable. Um, so both of these require Notch. Um, I'm not too excited about them. The Mask Shard, uh, yeah, I'll buy it. Could be useful. Probably that means that there are a bunch of other Mask Shards I need to collect. Yep, definitely. 
Okay, so I got a piece of the mask. Um, you have another one. Ah, okay. So there's, you can buy two from him and then you have to find the others. Um, I'll also buy this rancid egg. It just seems like the kind of thing that I should have. Okay, and then, so he's just a shopkeeper, but great. I found another shopkeeper, got some more cool stuff. Let's rest here, update the map, and then let's see what Elderbug has to say. Hi, Elderbug. Oh, God. oh what a turn. Our shopkeeps come home. Just wandered back in. I'd hoped for grand tales of his time below, but he seems to remember almost nothing. Maybe it was all too much for him. If you're interested in his wares, watch out. He drives a hard bargain, that one. No competition. That's the problem. It's bad for the market. Not that he's complaining. Okay, Elderbug, if you say so. Um, let me go over here and see if I can buy anything else cool to put on my map. <sighs> yes, hello. Bapanada. Ah, cocoon pins and hot spring pins. So the hot springs regenerate spirit. So, uh, yeah, sure, I'll buy them. I have the cash. And money seems relatively easy to come by in this game. So I'll just buy both of those. And then you're all sold out. <sighs> Bapanada. Mobadis. Unfortunately for now, you've cleaned us out of anything worth selling. Cornifold will no doubt be pleased, though I wonder what he plans to spend all that geo on. Okay, cool. Bye. Well then, I'm not, don't seem to be getting anything too interesting more from up oh, here. Dana. A young couple's, yeah, the map shop. Okay, so he's talking about Isilda and Cornifer. So, okay, that's nice. No, no, no. To go this. Below those leafy caverns is a fungal grove, once home to peaceful creatures not quite bug and not quite plant. Sounds almost worth a visit, no? Well, there's a downside, the dreadful stench, a noxious odor fills the place. Okay, so he this guy gives like little tips. Yeah, and then he talks about the bench. Fine. So yeah, if I look at my map, this is just the Forgotten Crossroads. That's all it is. So let's head back down below through the stag way. And we'll uh do a little bit more exploration. Hello, Staggy. Yeah, let's go down to the Forgotten Crossroads. So it looks like I need to make my way down and to the left somehow. And I'm just not sure how I'm supposed to do that. Thanks, Daggy. So, yeah, if I look at my map... See, I'm supposed to go through there. But I can't open that. So maybe I need the key? Oh boy, see, there are lots of... It seems like there are lots of passages, lots of ways to go, but I can't actually use any of them, and it's a little frustrating in a way. You know what, I'll go over to the um, that ladder over on the left-hand side, and I'll see if I can take some of those passages on the left. Seems like they might go somewhere. But I do really enjoy the fact that this game is all, I mean, it's a puzzle, you have to kind of figure out where where you are and how you get to where you want to be. It's almost Zelda-like in a way. I mean, the giant worms... Actually, the giant worms are pretty Zelda-like. We've had giant worm bosses in most Zelda games, I think. Like, which Zelda games didn't have giant worm bosses? Um, Link to the Past did... Did Ocarina? I don't think Ocarina had a giant worm boss. But it has been so long since I've played the old Zelda games, I don't even remember. And I haven't been able to play Breath of the Wild yet. Um, I'd need to buy it, of course. And sometimes you just don't feel like playing a game that requires you to dedicate so much time and energy to it. I mean, I'll be dedicating time to this game, of course, and I've dedicated plenty of time to the other games that I'm playing on the channel, but... I don't know, Breath of the Wild, I... The open-world adventure genre has really lost a lot of interest from me um, in the last couple of years. We've had a ton of them, like Ubisoft in particular has put out a ton of those games. Um, and they're just... I feel like it's gotten a little old. Though I have to admit, I loved Shadow of Mordor. Um, I'm, I'm a Lord of the Rings fanboy, and so in a way, it's almost hurt me that it was so, you know, lore incorrect. But the game was great. Uh, the Nemesis system is fantastic. I really enjoyed interacting with the orcs and doing the 
quests and all of that, and I think the size of the game was just perfect. It was... Oh, I needed to go up. Went too far over. Um, there was enough stuff to do all over the world that you never felt like you were... It didn't feel empty. I found some open world games just feel empty, but Shadow of Mordor really successfully avoided that little... I could have been stabbed to death just then. That trap. Um, it felt like there was always something to do everywhere you went. Which I found really good. What What is this? This white thing that's right here. Can I have this? I can't have this. Okay, fine. It'll just be there, I guess. It must be part of the background somehow. It just looks like it ought to be something. Oh, well, okay, I fell back down the hole. Never mind me. Whoops. That didn't happen. Nobody saw that. I'm gonna kill these bugs and steal their geo. Okay, so to get to that, you have to land on that platform, which you have to do by dropping from above. This one I can just jump to, though. What's over here? Ooh. The Pilgrim's Way. Travelers of Hallowness descend through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at this kingdom's heart. There all wishes shall be granted, all truths revealed. Okay, so this is the the path forward. Oh, you again. Screw you, dude. Ah, crap. I didn't expect it to bounce back quite that far. Alright. So we've dealt with that little problem. Ah, lovely pools of acid. Yep, right into the acid pool. Somehow I knew that would happen. Can't get to there. I'll need the double jump. So I'll have to go down this way. Ah, no, I can go up and around. Lovely verdant greenery. Really, really pulls the whole place together. I love the gardening. Oh, am I dying? I'm dying, aren't I? Crap. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then. Because uh, I just noticed that my my skulls were, like, burning. Okay, I'm gonna head back down there. Uh, actually, I shouldn't use this, because it, it'll be faster to get it just from dropping down. Also, my my soul thing is all shattered. Oh, because because I died, and I have to get my like ghost back. Let me see. Nope, apparently not. Yeah, it's broken. I didn't notice that. Did that happen before? I didn't notice that before. Has that always been that way? I mean, I'm not crazy, right? You see that the thing is broken. Like the, the little head. Whoops, sorry, just hit my mic. Ah, don't kill me. Give me a soul. Nothing over there. Alright. I knew that was gonna happen and I did it anyway. Oh crap. Screw you. Give me your Geo. So you have to heal on the green path, it looks like. At least I think. Man, all these Geo are just falling everywhere.
Okay, so let me try this again. Let me see if it actually hurts me this time. Let me, like, look. Or maybe it was just that I fell in the acid. Okay, well, there goes one. Yep. Because I'm an idiot, obviously. That's the idiot tax. Okay, I'm not seeing that, like, burning effect. Oh, that was probably just me at low health. Never mind me, I'm stupid. I'm still wondering about why my thing is broken, though. Yeah, that was just me being at low health. Oh, there's my, there's my evil ghost. Yay! Okay, yeah, I think that's what it was. Those things just run. Can I go over this way? Up, 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 it's a bush! It's a bush critter! Well, I killed it. Only gave me one Geo. Let me just blast that guy. Okay, and he explodes when killed. Can I drop down safely here? No. Nope, that's acid. I'm just exploring, folks. Have to forgive me for falling into the acid one or two or a dozen times. Push, dude. Oh, they're everywhere. Listen to the music here. It's so pretty. Ah. So I wonder if that egg that I bought off Sly is related to being here somehow. I felt like that was the best way to deal with that guy. Okay. So I don't know what that orange stuff does. It doesn't really seem to hurt me. Which is fortunate. Um, let's go down. Oh, that's just the way I was supposed to go. Well, that takes some of the excitement out of it. Okay, lovely waterfalls, lovely tiny beetle creatures. Could just go straight through, but I want to see what's up here. Lots of tiny beetle creatures. Is that a money rock? Yep. Yay, money rock. I love Money Rock. Money Rock is my favorite. Huh, a bench. Huzzah! So, let's look at our map, actually. See where we are. Oh, we don't have a map for this area. So the map's been updated, but we can't see it until we find Cornifer and buy the map off him. You would think that I could just draw my own map. I mean, I have parchment. I have a pen. Why can't I do my own thing? Why do I need corner fur? What is that? Oh, that's a giant death mosquito. My favorite kind. Uh, hello? Hello? He doesn't like me. Or she. Sounded like it could be a she. Hey, death mosquito. Goodbye, death mosquito. Okay, down the green path we go. Screw you. Yeah, I tell you, those, uh, those Geo, they just fly, man. I am lucky there was ground down here. Yay, money rocks! I'm gonna beat the money out of ya! Yeah! So how do I get to where that, um, the other beetle was? Because that beetle had a nail, like me, so that was an intelligent creature. It wasn't a zombie. But yeah, there's no way to double jump. So, uh, I'll just have to... And I can't quite make it. Ah, right into the acid, of course. Of course I would fall directly into the acid. That required aim on my part. Like, I had to just barely slip between the platforms to land in the acid. <sighs> well. 
I, what can I say? I'm a talented fellow. I can manage to land an acid even when there's hardly any acid to land it. Ooh, can I cut these? Yes, I can. That's interesting. Okay, ah, and then I can use that to progress. Cool. Can I crush this guy? Nope. So it's like their fuzz. It's their fuzz that makes the orange stuff. Because when I kill them, the fuzz goes away. And that- ah, okay. The orange explosions are hurting me a lot. As could probably be expected. Hey, giant mosquito. Yep, that was more or less what I expected. I wanted to let him get a swing in just to see what would happen. That was pretty much what I expected to happen. Cut that. Okay. Great. That sounds like someone I know. Yeah! Onto the spikes. Yeah, he's definitely over there. Hello. Hello. Oh, that's parchment on the ground. That's what it is. Isn't this a contrast from the crossroads? Such a humid, lively place. The roads twist and turn in the most wonderful ways. I've done my best to chart the area ahead, although I must admit some of the area's inhabitants proved quite a nuisance. Uh, why did I say no? No, wait. Wait. I, no, no, Portifer, sell me your map. Sell me your map. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so where's the map? Alright, so I've got a couple of benches on it. Forgotten Crossroads is that way. Cool. And I hear one of my buddies, too. I just have to get up. Somehow. Oh. All of these areas that I can't access because I can't jump more than once. Okay, that's fine, Cornifer. I Yeah, I like the singing. Great. Fantastic. Let me just uh, head on around and down here. Ah, there's the down. But how do I get to it? Can I cut... Can I cut ropes with blasts? That just hit the platform. Okay. So, hmm. Ah. I have to go that way. And then I can cut this to gain access from the other side. Sweet. Onward! I'm gonna cut your beach thing. Beach thing. Ball thing. I wonder if you could drop these on something that walked underneath them. I bet you could. Yeah, hi, hi, I know. Great. Fantastic. I'm just gonna let that fall because I want to look over here at what this is. It's light. There's light coming in from somewhere. Lots of grass, lots of horns on the ground. That is a monster. Indisputably. Let's put up babies. Tiny squib, you approach fearless. Are you a hunter like me? Do you feel the urge inside to stalk, to kill, to understand? Then take it, my journal. It will aid you. At first, the text may seem difficult to discern, but a learned hunter will come to understand its words. Venture the depths of this land and slay its beasts. Prove yourself worthy to bear the mark of hunter. Okay. Taken the hunter's journal. Okay, so I can open the menu, then navigate to the journal pane. 
Defeat enemies to add new entries to the journal and decipher the hunter's notes. That's interesting. That's charms. Map. Okay. Okay, so you have to... You defeat these things, a certain number of them. And then the hunter's notes gives you something interesting about them. So yeah, the venge fly, you have to kill nine more. The gruzzer, the gruz mother, the tick tick. The aspid hunter, oh those things, they suck. The aspid mother also sucks. The aspid hatchling, the wandering husk, the remains of a bug animated by a strange force. Yep, totally a zombie. Husk cornhead, leaping husk, husk bully. Yeah, oh yeah, there is a difference between them. The husk warrior with a nail and shell. Ah, the husk guard, the remains of a great hollow nest cross guard. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, so that's what the notes look like. Yeah, because the false knight was like this little thing that barely had a body that had dressed itself up as this giant creature. Balder, Elder Balder. Okay, so these are the pillbug things. Okay, so it just kind of gives you little, um, little blurbs about the world as opposed to, like, in-game information. Moss Creep. Mosskin. Volatile Mosskin. Plant-like bug swollen with infection. Releases deadly gas when threatened. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, cool. Thank you, Hunter. You're Too great. Well. You're only just beginning. Don't delay. Descend into the belly of this world and hunt down the life you find. Okay, cool. Bye. Have fun in your cave. Okay, so this is great. I am going to cut this episode here, or as soon as I find a bench, at least. Am I close to a bench? No. Um, I'm going to cut this episode pretty soon, though. But we found this great new area to explore. Lots of cool, new, interesting things. And... Uh, cool new interesting monsters to fight as well. Oh, I can like parry those guys and they go flying away Sweet Money rock Give me your secrets of cash Okay, so yeah, I am gonna ow spikes Did not like those. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna cut this episode here. Thank you all so much for joining me uh, if you like this video, leave a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and more content like this will be coming your way on the regular. I'm not going to do this very often, you know, once a week or so maybe, uh, but I enjoy this. I enjoy running directly onto spikes and killing myself, but I enjoy this game, and hopefully you all enjoy watching it. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.